Okay, welcome to the first episode of Let's Learn It. Every day I just want to learn something new. There's not much to do right now, so I'm going to try and pick up a new skill. So, uh, first thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to try and learn a phrase in Korean because so many people are always surprised when I tell them that I'm half Asian. So I just want to have this one thing in the back pocket that I can pull out and present to them for them to snack on and digest while I utter this beautiful, flawless, flawlessly pronounced Korean phrase to them and then they'll know for sure that I'm white. I really wonder how, like, language just developed. Let's, like, it seems like what Korea did was Let's see how many syllables we can fit into one word. And they won. They, they were going for it, so. Excuse me. Excuse me. Simple. Easy. Silly Hamida! It's in it. sounds like chili. Chili Hamida. Chili Hamida. Do you speak Korean? Chili Hamida. There's only one word that I knew in Korea, when I went to Korea to go visit. And that was begopayo, which means hungry, and mashiso, which means delicious. And that's, I mean, I found in my experience, that's all I needed. Mashiso? You know what, I should really watch a good Korean drama and just study the language. It's just, oh, <gasps> Common Korean phrase, or maybe like a little inside joke. 안녕하세요. Maybe I should listen to some Korean first. Google Translate it. You know, being a musician once upon a time, I feel like if I can hear something, I can get right on the same decibel level, then I can learn how to say it. A little bit, I need a little meat to this to make it sound really believable. <laughs> I got it. Okay. Do you speak Korean? Yes, but only in terms of food. We might be onto something here. That's rough. I can barely hear the syllables. The headphones on so I can really dissect this. Okay, this isn't that hard. Okay. I think I found one. Oh, I think it's That's pretty good. Nice to meet you. Bun gap samnida. Bun da gap sim. Bun. Sounds like gimpa. Bun. Bun gap samnida. I don't think any amount of Duolingo can help me. Chow. Chow mogo keo. That's right, Koreans flip the K's and the G's. Maybe if I believe, I just gotta tap into the Korean side like the Avatar state. Maybe if I say it like I'm hungry. Just had to get a little bit of a... Uh, Grain food first. Some spicy tofu from Hong Kitchen. Ooh, does that look good? Only if you're Korean, that's right. Some might say it's mashiso. Mmm. I think I got the perfect response when somebody asks me if I can speak Korean. I don't know, can you? Somebody said that to me, I'd be like, oh, clearly they know how to speak that language. Okay. Molayo. Perfect. Perfect plot twist. I'll just ask them first. So then, they'll ask me, do you speak Korean? I'll just be like, do you speak Korean? But in Korean. Genius. Okay, it can't be too hard to say. My mom used to always say that to me. Yell it at me. I should teach a class!